Welcome back to EGL Liverpool, where I am joined with Fallout and Darko himself. That's right. We're about to see Fox versus Aerox. That's going to be third seed against fourth seed. An exciting game on the way. Elliot? It is an exciting game. Aerox, they looked very strong against Lucent. I, I had the, the pleasure of watching that game on, on the side stations and they looked very strong. Um, Lucent, you know, just clinched it in the end. Uh, but Incisive uh, and Ash looked like they were properly going off. So um, I feel like this is going to be a tough test for Fox, 100%. Yeah, I, I wanted to just kind of touch up on that game because they have just come off a very, very heavy loss. They were playing Lucent. They went to round 13 in that second map. And it was a long round 13. And we, you know, it was going on while we were on, the, on yep. the casting just now. Just just clinched right at the end. It's demoralizing, right? I mean, how do you bounce back from that? Is, is this going to be a tough task against Fox now, do you think? Yeah, you know, what I used to do on, on my teams is, look, you lost a game that close. A team like Lucent is, is an amazing team. You get the team together, you say, guys, we just took Lucent. The number two seed, one of the best teams in Europe, one of the favorites in that match. We took them to round 13. A couple things go our way. We would have won that match. Stay positive. you got to recognize and focus on the strength rather than harping on the weaknesses and what didn't go well. So if I am this Aerox squad, I'm forgetting short-term memory and remembering all the great things that you did against that Lucent Esports squad. Yeah, you have to. You know, you'd have to take the positives from the last match and you have to just kind of build on them. Um, it's, it's the same in any sports, isn't it? Any, any, any sports, look at football, look at American football. Uh, <laughs> look <laughs> Thank at you any, for showing some love. I appreciate it. <laughs> and look at any, you know, any sports in the world. When you've had a good game, you need to build on the positives, not focus on the negatives. Build on them, take them forward and really bring it to this Fox Esports team. Yeah, and I suppose going right to the wire, that's 100% a positive, especially against such a strong squad in Lucent. Well, but both of these teams, they're uh, obviously fighting for, I think, top four now. This is loser bracket round three. So the winner of this will go on to play the winner of Re uh, Regal and XCOM, which is the match that's going to be happening off stage. Any thoughts on, on that matchup? I know Regal obviously looking very strong just then. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, this XCOM squad had a lot of hype coming into this tournament. Some were honestly considering them to be a top six team in Europe, certainly a top four, top five team in the UK. But in my opinion, they haven't performed. They lost to this Fox Esports squad. That was a big upset. No one expected the Italians to come in and do what they did to XCOM. Unless we see some sort of different XCON roster today, which is definitely possible. They could catch fire. I do think it's going to be a pretty handy victory for Regal Reserve. Uh, I agree. I agree. I mean, I mean XCON, they're probably feeling a bit down uh, after yesterday. They had a couple of tough losses. Um, that 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, those two maps in that, that last match we, match up we saw yesterday. They, like you say, John, they need to come out here and they really need to catch fire. They need to have a different different mindset. They need to start afresh, you know, regroup and just really come out and uh, come out the, the races, as it were. <laughs> as they were. Uh, yeah, well, I think we, we probably should touch on Fox a little bit more because we, we've yep. said a lot about Aerox, right? Obviously a very strong team in their own right. But Fox are coming in as the fourth seed in this tournament. And, yeah. and we're saying XCON, oh, are you top six? You know, Regal, are you pushing top six? But really, Fox are supposed to be the fourth best team. So... They would be, they, you know, they would be going out at a at a loss at this point, you know, in, in terms of seeding versus final placement. They, they, this is this is pretty much their seed on the line right now. Yeah, that's spot on. And this Fox Esports squad, they've shown up. They've shown up in a big way. We saw the upset. Uh, well, we'd consider an upset against XCON, of course, not in seeding, but in gameplay. Uh, I saw some disgusting, disgusting things with the sniper out of this Fox Esports squad. Some high individual skill. So you know, I, I think the Aerox versus Fox Esports match will be a little bit closer than the Regal Reserve versus XCON match. Mm -hmm. That's just my initial thoughts. But, you know, ultimately, Aerox is just, and I know we keep deferring back to Aerox, but Aerox is just such a dominant squad. Three former members of the Space Station squad. They have the experience. They've been here before. They're heating up here on Championship Sunday. Now, I really think Aerox does have the upper hand, but I'm excited to see what Fox Esports can do, representing an entire nation in Italy. The only Italians <laughs> here is Fox Esports. That's it, that's it. And, and one big key in that is going to be the maps. So uh, as, uh, as we say that, let's, let's go into the picks and bans, shall we? Aerox obviously coming in as the highest seed, so they'll get to ban out first. Their ban's going to be foundation, so that's going to go straight off the map. Obviously, we've just seen that map played. Very strong map. Lift is going to be the second ban, so Fox getting rid of that. Aerox picking Dam as their first map, so that's the first one we're going to see. Reclaimed going to be the first pick for Fox Esports, so two you know, quite different maps there. Harbour going out as a ban for Lift, uh, for Aerox, sorry. Uh, and then Forge Blitz being the last ban by Fox, so last map going to be Impact. One we've not seen so much this weekend. No, I, I just want to note as well that um, Aerox have actually just played both Dam and Reclaimed against uh, Lucent Esports. Mm, so, uh, and, 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 you know, obviously they took, um, I believe it was 7-6 on Dam and 7-5 on Reclaimed against a, a very, very strong Lucent roster. So they're going to be feeling pretty confident about that. Um, I feel like they're more so than Fox Esports. I didn't have a chance to kind of see Fox Esports play on the, uh, the side stations. Um, however, I you know, they probably played against a kind of lesser squad, as it were. So, and, you know, and that's some good analysis. But at the same time, yesterday, 
Aerox picks Dam. I don't know if they did their homework necessarily because the one map that Dam did, that uh, uh, the fifth third map that Fox Esports did win, sorry, against XCon was on Dam, and that was the map that we saw a member of Fox Esports go off with the sniper. Did some amazing things with that sniper. You know, so I think there's an opportunity here for Fox Esports. Dam, I think, is an okay map for them. Of course, it's Aerox's pick, so they're confident on it as well. But to your point, I think your point trumps. Yeah. Two maps in a row. You got that experience. Basically, you just ran a scrim. You know, and yeah. uh, got some great practice on those two maps. I think they're going to be well oiled here. Aerox is going to be looking good. So so perhaps Fox not doing their homework here. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it may be uh, maybe the case. Uh, so, yeah, I have to ask. Predictions going to go down the line, Elliot. Bring it back in. 2-0 uh, Aerox. Um, yeah. I, I feel like the first map, Dam, might be a close one. 7-5, seven, 7-6. Seven, I'm looking at that, that that to be kind of a map that's really going to be a, a show, a shower uh, for, in this matchup. But I think Aerox in the second map, Dam, I think they, I'm sorry, Reclaimed, I think they're just going to kind of swipe, swipe it in 2-0. You're going to give me a map count? Ooh. Uh, round round I, 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 I did. I said seven six. Seven six. Aerox first first match. Seven six. Seven six. You're giving some love to Fox uh, here, uh, my friend. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and then seven four um, reclaimed uh, in, in favor like of Aerox. All right, strong, strong, John. I like it. Same thing. Two nil Aerox. It's uh, it's hard to deny. One thing I will say is maybe uh, they did do their homework, Fox Esports, because uh, reclaimed was the map. I believe that Aerox lost seven four. Map one number one is what I heard from from Jack Reaction in a side conversation. So I, I think uh, reclaimed wasn't wasn't necessarily in their favor. But ultimately two zero. I think Aerox is going to take it. I'm going to go seven four on Dam and then seven three on map number two on reclaimed. All right, well, I'm going to join you guys. I, I do think this is going to be an, an Aerox map. I, I, would, I would like to say 2-1, but I can't. I, I have to give it to Aerox. <laughs> I took the risk last game. You're not going to take no, the risk. No, I'm not going to take the risk. I, I, I've got to catch up on the leaderboard. Right? <laughs> no, I, I'm going to go with Aerox myself. 2-0. Um, I, I think you're right. I think it's going to be quite a close affair on Dam. We did see Mantis go off yesterday with that sniper, and if they get, manage to get that down, I think it'll be a great show from them. So 7-5, maybe Aerox on that one. Second map, I think, I think Aerox is going to want to run away with it, to be honest with you. Um, 7-3. Let's go seven, with 7-3. All right. We're all showing some love to Fox, though. Give yeah. it a couple rounds. We're thinking some good things here. Well, I mean, who knows? Those, those three rounds can turn into seven. You never know. Well, you never know. If, if they put a sniper down and Mantis gets it, you know, gets it <laughs> in his hands, then I'm, I'm looking for some hype with that. Uh, you know, that, that could bring some, uh, some serious entertainment, definitely. Yeah. As long as he uh, managed to, to discriminate against his own team this time, because we did <laughs> see some, some self-head shots as well. So yeah. <laughs> there is that. There is that, you know, the... Just, just shooting whatever he sees. But. Yeah, absolutely. And then some of the blind fire shots that man was putting on a show. It's like watching a montage. But meanwhile, breaking down these rosters, you look at Aerox, left to right, Ashens, Incisive, Ash, J Rage, and Sammy. I've been very, very impressed by the two young guns on this team, Ashens and Incisive, who have kind of just burst onto the scene in Season 1 and Season 2 here of Gears of War 4. You didn't really see much from them back in Gears 3 or in Gears Ultimate Edition, but we've really seen them perform so incredibly well here this tournament. I've been nothing but impressed. Ash. My hat goes off to him, the captain of this team, who does such an amazing job assembling rosters. He knows talent when he's seen it. He's done it before. And, man, he's put together a great roster here for this tournament. Yeah, he, he pretty much is always in that top three, top four kind of category, no matter who he brings to the table, right? He picks out the players that are you know, beneficial to him, beneficial to the squad. And you're right, he's done this really well. Ashen's incisive, great players in the room, right? I was going to say that, just to kind of pick up on John's point, that Ash has really matured. Um, you look at him in season one, obviously I know there was you know, a couple of mishaps uh, in season one between him and Jack when they were teaming. Um, but yeah, he's really matured as a captain yep. and, it, and it really shows, you know, this Eric squad, you know, they, they maybe haven't hit the heights of what they're, what they're capable of. Um, however, they are improving now and with the pickup of Ashens, they are looking like a pretty decent squad. Yeah, so I, I think that split up between... Um between Jack and Ash has, has been the best thing that happened to both of them. They both come out with very solid rosters and they're both going to be competing for top two, top one this tournament. So yeah, really well played. That said, Damp is, uh, is about to get underway. So I'm going to hand it over to you guys. Take it away, guys. Darko, Fallout, all to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Fru. And it is a pleasure and an honor to be casting alongside Darko for the first time this tournament. You're already making some American football references. You're making me feel at home, and I appreciate that. <laughs> I have to, John. I have to. I love you a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, you know, thank you very much. It's, I feel like this is going to be a real hype to fair. You know, I'd love to see Fox Esports really take it to them. John, what are you thinking? What, I'm thinking, I'm liking the Colonel Hoffman decision here by Mantis. <laughs> You'll see it on your screen in a bit, but Mantis playing as Hoffman, old man Hoffman at that, and I'm excited for this matchup nonetheless. Fox Esports representing an entire nation right now, and if you are from Italy, support your team. Let's hear it in the chat. Andiamo Italia. That was a horrible accent, but let's go. <laughs> I'm say it anyways. Let's get kick this one off. Let's do it, Dean. We're going to see the fight here on that platform area. We're on board with Jay Rage. Uh, he's being he's being hurt. He's taking some damage, but Mantis does take down Ash, so he hits first blood. And 
Now we're seeing the insides of guys will trade out that one. I feel like now it's going to be Fox who are looking like in a bad position at the moment. On board now with Paynes. He's in a 1v2. He's going to take out one. Gets shut down immediately after by Incisive, who Ooh. gets a double kill. Three kills to his name right now. He looks for the overextension, but decides to backtrack over to B Hill. Smart decision from him, because he's going to recognize an opportunity to clamp on that B Hill. But little did he recognize that people will be spawning and tagging him up from the back. Yeah, Incisive, he's honestly, he's been looking really, really good. Uh, you know, I had the chance of uh, seeing him against that loose inside, and he's really hitting his shots. He's making some plays, so it's, it's good to be on board with him right now to see what he can do. Uh, Fox Esports, they are going to try and go into that B area. Uh, Aerox are just setting up, so it's going to slow down momentarily. Uh, let's see if anyone can do anything, try and break a hill, but obviously, of course, John, the points don't need to get too drastic at the moment. Yep, exactly. Only a 10-point lead right now, and that's actually in Fox Esports' hands. They don't have to rush anything. Group just respawn, wait for him to come back, make it an even fight, five on five. What you want to do is you want to spread the map out. Look at the overhead map right now. You want to push on the far side of the map into the spawn of the other team, but look who it is. Someone on the Aerox squad is actually in that spawn to thwart that push. Let's check out who that is. It's going to be... J-Rage, smart decision from J-Rage, completely thwarting the push, but that opens up an opportunity. Brute, Pains, and Mantis all going to pick up kills on the other side of the map. Three-cap opportunity coming in, and what a counter here for Fox Esports. I don't think they're going to make it. I think this is going to be a trip cap. I feel there was an Eric's member moving to the home hill, but it is not going to matter. Fox Esports, they do take the first round. Great play by them. 1-0, Fox Esports. Wow. <laughs> I love the mid-round push. What Fox Esports does is they bait the wide push into spawn. They force Aerox to panic that the push to spawn is going to be coming. And that opens up an opportunity in the middle of the map to push to pick up some kills on the B-Hill and to ultimately come out on top. That should have been an Aerox round. They were set up. They had control, incisive with a big triple kill. It didn't matter. Fox Esports punches them right in the face with the first round victory. Well, it comes with the territory, the territory of this Gears of War 4 game. You know, if you know, you're in that position, you're setting up, and then three kills go out of your way, it's always a great opportunity for the other team to capitalize on. So great play by Fox Esports. Let's head into round two. John, what are you thinking? I'm sticking on board of Mantis is what I'm thinking. We saw him pop off with first blood in the first round here. He's actually going to run a different strategy. Looks like he's going towards baby steps in the middle of the map. Going to miss an up A there. A little bit slower, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to go back to the hop <laughs> His A button is definitely stuck, maybe, momentarily. Ooh, Mantis going to pick up a kill. That was a good That's opportunity tough. for a double. That's That's tough. Tough. Wide open flank. I think he shot a little bit too early, a little bit premature. And the turn is going to come. And now, look at this. Ash overextending to that C hill. It's going to be a home and away hill push, an opportunity for Aerox. Indeed, indeed. And now they're going to just set up again. But, you know, they need to remember that that first round, Fox Esports, when they, when they slayed out, they got, two, they got two, three kills, and they did capitalize on it well. So Aerox are going to have some bad or keep that in mind and make sure that doesn't happen again um, but I, I like to see this you know again Aerox they, they are a squad they do have that great teamwork they do have that fundamental teamwork they, they can use this Fox Esports team although have been a team for as long as them but we're going to see it again Fox Esports they are going to pick up one kill they are looking for Ashens as well Ashens does well to just keep his life he's got his back up though Marco so well played this is a big 2v2 Look at the damage he's putting on Incisive now he needs to get out I don't, I don't think it's going to work it's going to go in the favour of Fox Esports well played by them John, this is looking like a bit of a scrappy McScrapperson right now. Yeah, scrappy indeed, but scra scrappy but elegant for Fox Esports. The revive chain comes through. The hammer burst DPS from Marco. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of this Fox Esports squad. They're playing for each other. They're reviving. They're moving as a team. And ultimately, they are going to come out on top with a two-hill grab right now. But Aerox needs to recognize they have one dead for Fox. Five on four. Man advantage opportunity. Mantis, of course, going to shut that down with a kill over Incisive. Yeah, indeed. And now Fox Esports, they have got an opportunity to set up themselves. They've got one down. You can hear the shouts from the stage trying to play on it, but unfortunately it's not going to work out for them. Aerox now do have a kill in their favor. I feel like they have all the position in the world to try and come up and break this setup. Now we're seeing the Fox member. He's running away, but he's got his back up. Little Ash is in a bit of a bad position here. He gets taken down on that platform. One, Ash, Ash gets taken down as well. So now Fox Esports, they do have an opportunity here to, to push it to the home hill drop. Yep, and he's going to go for the, the reverse reaction shot. Not going to connect. Hits a shot. But a little over-aggressive from Payne's right there. He's known to be a great individual player, but he's known to play a little over-aggressive sometimes, and it showed right there. You have three dead, you have a two-cap advantage, you have a 30-point lead. You have to value your life a little bit more in this one, and now a wide-open opportunity. Two dead for Fox Esports. Aerox is springing into life here in this round. Five on three. Expect them to make a play for this three-cap. Definitely, definitely. Uh, you see Sam here and Incisive. They are 
They're looking to push on forward to this home hill. Try and make the advantage. That's a great shot there from Little Ashens. He gets two as well. Well played from him. And now, Aerox, they have the perfect opportunity. Can they capitalize on it? Fox Esports, they do have the backup. It is decapped, though, momentarily. Now, Aerox are just going to push forward. Wise as well. He gets one. Paints does get Ashens as well. But Sammy Kelty replies. And Sammy Kelty gets a double. And now, this is in the favor of Aerox Esports. It's going to be their round. And there you have it. Another round where the person who is expected to win, the team that has the setup, has the point advantage, and has the control, comes out on bottom. It's actually Aerox Esports who flips that one around with the round win. Again, it came down to one small decision, in my opinion. Pains overextending, forces a one versus two fight that was unnecessary. It's the second round of the game. Player respawn timers are at 14 seconds. Hold the two cap setup. Hold your 30 point lead and win the round right there. Big mistake from Payne's, a little over aggressive. Well, we saw it yesterday, didn't we, against XCON in that first matchup that they were making plays where they were getting caught out quite quite badly and maybe Fox Esports, they you know, they need to they need to regroup, they need to, to figure it out and they need to kind of get a new strategy because they can't they can't let Aerox have those opportunities. Uh, they need to do better. Yeah, I completely agree with Ashton so picked up a nice double kill himself. Wasn't really doing too much until then. Only one kill to his name, and then he picked up two. Currently sitting at three kills. He's the home hill player. Gonna hop on board with, with Incisive. Incisive in a key one versus one against Mantis. Mantis on left hand disadvantage. Incisive, good job using that right hand. Now the tables have turned. Incisive on left hand disadvantage. His teammate Ash is gonna go wide left on Payne to pick up that kill. Nice bait and switch right there for Aerox, and that's gonna be four dead. Fox Marco, the last alive here in a one versus one. He's gonna get taken out as well. Well played by Aerox again, slaying out, and again. We go onto incisive screen, and every single time we do, he's always taking a 2v1. He's always making a fantastic play. That man right there, incisive, aka Nathan, he is going off right now, John. Aerox 2 1. Yeah, great plays right there for Aerox. And this is the Aerox we expected to heat up, to warm up here. Look at Ash smiling, laughing. They're having a good time. They know that first round should have, could have, easily would have been theirs. Nice, of course, nice mid round push from Fox in that first round. That's the only round that they have won. Now, the weapon decision is important here. You're not winning the initials. And it looks like they're going to try and yep, they're gonna put a sniper low side. It's going to change things up. They want to get that sniper in Mantis' hand. <laughs> in Mantis' hands only. We said it before, didn't we? We said it. it you know, Fox Esports, Mantis. Fox is Mantis, sorry, rather. He went off yesterday with that with that sniper against XCON. So if we can get a little bit of that again, it's going to really spice up. It's going to put the key ingredients to a fantastic mill in this first matchup so far. I think I it's small, but... Fox Esports is actually not taking their up A's, and that's why they're going to get there a second later. He's tagged up very, very red. The up A, of course, gives you a slight speed boost in getting to where you want to get, but Mantis is going to get a slight advantage with the sniper in his hands. Indeed, so now we see Mantis, the marksman Mantis. Let's see if he can bring the heat, bring the entertainment. He has got one now. Oh, I, thought that, I thought that was a sniper then for a second, John. I apologize. I got a little bit, I got a little bit too. Uh, too yeah, I, think he, I think he actually jumped in the air <laughs> over here. I wish you could have seen it. It's like, like Mary, hop, hop, Mary hop Poppins skip. on heat. <laughs> 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 two to two is the score, and ultimately it was not the sniper that won in the round, but it was a nice initial strategy. Some pills, some pills, some pills <laughs> picked up from the pills were not used in the making of this broadcast. Some kills were picked up from Payne's and Ryzen to get the initial, to get Mantis the sniper, but ultimately it was the shotgun kills that helped them come out on top. Indeed. Again, we're just seeing each each of these kind of four rounds we've had so far, it's always been who slayed first. Uh, and every single time two or three kills go, every each one of these teams are being very aggressive on those home hills. So it's great to see. It's, it's a great viewing for, for people who are watching at home. So good matchup so far, John. Look, look at this. Pains and Mantis leading the way. Nine kills and eight kills. Meanwhile, on the Aerox side, it is none other than Incisive with eight kills to his name. It's down board Pains. So looks like the initial strategy is going to show a slight mirror, but actually one more resource sent over for Fox Esports. They're really valuing that sniper here. Oh, they are indeed. Let's see if... Aerox can make sure that he doesn't get in the hands again, but no Mantis does. He does pick it up. He has got it again. Let's see what he can do. We are on board here with Pains. I think they're just going to rotate into this B hill. Ash and uh, Ash and his bait there, just making sure that that's not going to be taken down by this. Ooh, Mantis there. He's just hit him on the shoulder. But you know, John, we do love a sniper shot. What, it's what makes you know what makes Gears of War 4 great. Yep. Ever since Gears of War 1, the sound of that headshot, one of the most satisfying sounds in all of gaming, let alone all of esports. On board with Mantis now. I like that little snapshot we saw from him. Gonna get him active, gonna give him a slight damage boost, not too much with the Sniper in Gears 4. Of course, the Sniper in Gears Ultimate Edition, not many people know this. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Mantis, you are putting on a show, and you continue to do so. First headshot picked up for Mantis. That opens up a five on four. Numbers advantage here. Another shot, Ooh. another opportunity. This one's going to be missed. Two on one. Ryzen's going to come out on top in that 1v. 
and the sea hill is going to be captured here. They're going to ignore that B hill. And now, of course, as I say that, they all backtrack for that B hill instead. What a fantastic shot by Mantis again. He proves that he can do, he can hit those shots when it matters. And now we're seeing Hash and Sammy both go down there. Fox Esports, they do have the perfect opportunity to take the advantage. They do lose the, the home hill momentarily, but I'm sure, knowing this Fox Esports team, they are. Oh. They are going to try and put pressure on, but no, actually, as I say that, they do opt to back out. They're just going to set up. Yeah, looks like they got what they needed. They got the point lead, which they didn't have before. They uh, had that Sea Hill broken. Finally, it's going to be captured. Mantis has a sniper. You can play a little bit more defensive, but look how Aerox is playing this. Smart decision, and I hear another sniper <laughs> headshot. It's Mantis. Can he get the second? Oh, yes, he does. Oh, my God. Mantis. Mantis. Who are you, and where did you come from? Oh. Can he get the third kill? No, he finally gets shut down after putting on a show for us on main stage. Mantis, welcome to Gears Esports, welcome to the main stage, and welcome Italy to Gears of War. He is a magician with that thing, and he's proving again what an absolute monster Mantis is. He's just clapping. That's him right there on the far left. He's just clapping. He's happy. He's having a good, good old time. Wow. 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 Let's not get ahead of ourselves. 3-2, John, though. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. 3-2, and I'm getting as hype as this is the grand finals in, the gear in San Diego. <laughs> Instead, it's just our loser's bracket round three match. But still, Fox Esports is putting on a show. I love it. I absolutely love it. If you love quality Gears of War, I hope you're enjoying this broadcast as much as we are because, man, it's been a, a sight to see so far. Very fun match. Of course, key storyline here. Number two team in Italy playing against Aerox. Top three team in the UK. It would be a huge upset if Fox can some way somehow pull this off against a team of veterans in Aerox. Well, they're definitely doing a god, good job so far. God, god job? They're doing a good job so far. <laughs> yeah, god job yeah, as well. God job as well, Mantis. With this guy, Mantis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but now, I, I feel like Aerox, they really need to put pressure on this sniper. They cannot let Mantis, you know, to be free to pick it up again without a challenge. Look, Mantis is just a strafing around. He gets taken out by this time. So well played by Aerox. They recognize that they cannot let him have it again. And well played. They've got the three kills. Yep. Keep in mind, this is the last round of the half. So this is 22 second respawn timers now in 2.8. This should be the round one. One member alive for Fox Esports. Who is it? It's going to be Marco. He's just sneaking away, trying to stay alive. Give himself a one versus one here. Insins, though, are going to tag him up. He has one more left. He's not going to put it to work. That's going to be all she wrote. We are tied 3-3 three to three here going into the second half. A much closer match than I think a lot of us would have anticipated. Definitely so. It's been a spectacle so far. Uh, both these teams going off when it matters. But, it, you know, it, I didn't... I guess, obviously, actually, my prediction was that this was going to be a very evenly matched map. Uh, and it's definitely my, my, uh, my prediction is coming to fruition right now as it stands. But we are going to go into the second hills. And just to, just to point out, I, I, I was watching Aerox against Lucent on the second, si on the second side. And they were looking very strong. Uh, they were playing their numbers well. And they were make it, giving Lucent some problems. So let's see if Fox Esports can handle it. On board now with Pains. 11 kills. He slowed down his last couple rounds. Keep in mind, first round of the second half, so all weapons are no longer on the map. No more sniper opportunity for Mantis Ooh. yet. But he doesn't need one. He has a shotgun in his hands. He takes out one. Ash is going to neutralize. Big one versus one here. Pains versus Sammy. Pains, a good individual player. Sammy, though, going to turn on Brute. Marco going to neutralize. Three on three here. Pistol action in work for Pains. And he wants blood. He goes for the up A shot. Not going to connect for that just yet. He looks a little bit lost right now, his pains, as he wants some action. He wants something. And finally, he's going to get it with his first kill on J-Rage. These guys are so aggressive, and they, sl they are slaying out Aerox at the moment. It looks like Aerox can't handle the slaying power that Fox Esports are producing right now. So now we're at an advantage with Fox Esports. Let's just see how they're going to set up and what they're going to do and try and make sure that this Aerox team don't break the setup. I'm bored. Still with Pains. Let's keep rolling with him. Let's give him some love. Give him some energy. We all know what Pains can do when he heats up. Still on board with him. He looks like he wants to push this flank towards the F Bill. He's going to get tagged up and called out, though. But his teammate's going to come through as well. Maybe an ill-advised push as his teammate's going to go down. Oh. A beautiful reverse reaction shot coming in from Pains there. The wraparound. He's full red. Somehow still alive. He's going to go down here. Three cap comes in. Opportunity. But his teammate's going to slay up on the other side of the map. Yeah, they are indeed. And look, this is just where they're just... Fox Esports, they were putting pressure, but they do opt out to try and rotate. The Brute, brute does get incisive on that kill, so now J-Rage just going to try and push up. He just misses that shot. Very unlucky there, and he's down with a 1v1. This is a very important 1v1 as well, but he does have his mate to back him up, and also so does the, the Fox Esports member. This is a bit of a big fight. Both Fox Esports members do go down, so well played from Aerox. They are going to break the setup, but look at the points, John. They're going to need to put some. They're going to need to put some pressure on this home hill. If they can set up here, they're going to need to get the kills and push on forward. Oh, nice kill right there from Pains. And you're right, double the point score for Fox Sports. Fox Sports right now. 
140 Ooh. to 77. Finally, the two caps going to come in. Sammy with a nice kill over Pains. It's a four on four for the moment, and then Aerox will have a man up. Let's see if whoever this is can get this kill. It's Mantis praying for his kill right now. As he's going to just overextend for that FL. Mantis in a pretty difficult spot right now. There's no man's land. There is no man's land indeed. And Incisive. This is quite a big 1v actually from Incisive. He needs to just make sure that he doesn't get the D cap. Indeed, that's not good for, for Incisive, but he has got, again, help of that brilliant play, you know. Again, Aerox, they are looking like they are a well-oiled, well well-drilled team. You said it before, so uh, it that's a good play. And they have got the decap as well, so well played now. Aerox are on the offense, and Fox Esports, they do need to defend. They still have 50 points up. E does get decapped, but that's not going to be enough. I think this is going to be Aerox's round. D just slightly being a decap again. Marco can't do anything. Mantis coming in. He does get the kill, but he's not in time. Aerox, 4-3. Another round that could have been in the hands of Fox Esports. And that's why you see on your screen right now, Ash, captain of this team, talking through, not the happiest with their performance in that round, trying to fix it for the next round. I like the leadership from Ash. But they did sneak away that round. The very Space Station-esque, if you will, they of course. Did. These guys played at that Space Station squad for such a long time. you gotta, you got to think they have at least some of that DNA still within them. Yeah, indeed. And here it is. The sniper is put down again in that pit area. Oh, my goodness. Aerox are going to be... <laughs> Eric, we know who wants it. <laughs> yeah, you do, obviously, of course. It's going to be that man, Ma Fox Mantis. He's going to be the one who is going to be looking to pick it up. Aerox again, though, as I said it in that, that kind of final round of the first half. Aerox, they need to make sure they don't allow them to just pick it up for free. They need to put pressure on. They are sitting back, though. Good lots of fire. They do have the mark, so Mantis is going to take damage. It's just going to allow Aerox to maybe step in a little bit. J-Rage does get the first blood kill, so that's good for Aerox if you're an Aerox fan here. Now Ash, he's just in that pit area again. He's just looking like he's going to go in the way of the of uh, Aerox here. Little Ashens, he does get a fantastic two piece. Well played by him. That is a three piece. Excuse me. And now he's going for the home hill. This is good play from Aerox, John. Yep. Good play, indeed. But no one has captured their home hill yet. Their their personal home hill. Finally, someone's going to backtrack for it. They pick it up. That should be a three cap opportunity. Ashens going to try to make sure it happens. Yes, he does. Aerox is springing into life here in the second half. Three straight rounds picked up for them and they're looking good. It's the initial. I, I would have liked to have seen Mantis be a little bit more relevant in that fight. Yeah. He stuck back towards that pit side a little too long. Didn't really do much to help his team until a little bit later as he pushed in and finally got that kill. But instead, he uh, it was his team that actually lost that initial. Now, only a blocked weapon there. Looks like they want that yeah. sniper fight. They're yeah. still confident with it. Well, it's, it's one of those, playing myself, John, obviously I'm sure you've played this, you know, in, uh, in certain matches. It's kind of the good players, they have to be decisive in those situations. Yeah. They can't allow it to just be a 50-50. They have to say, I'm either going to go for this or I'm going to sit back. They can't be in two minds. And as we saw there, if you're in two minds, you're just going to get picked out quite easily by the opposition team. So well played. Exactly. I said, both of them are going to come through. Pains the 1v1. Ryzen wins his 1v. So Pains needs to stay alive right now. Needs to value his life. He's going to do the exact opposite. He pushes for the kill and still comes out on top. Mantis gets taken out over towards the pit side, though. On board with Payne still. He needs to go big. He's going to go for the up A shot. Connects for a, a nice body shot. His teammate picks up the kill. And now Payne in a 1v. Needs all the support in the world. Is incisive. Full red tagged up. Going to stay alive. Fantastic play from, from Payne there. He was giving the jelly legs to pretty much everyone. Uh, keeping his life in the process. But unfortunately, it's not going to matter because Aerox, they do take down the kills. Well played by them. And now they're on the assault again. And Fox, they do just need to regroup. They need to ensure that there's no sort of the defenses are strong. The jelly legs, aren't they? Yeah, the jelly legs. Yeah. I like that. Oh, that's a <laughs> Ooh, my God, that is so close. The skin of the teeth. The thread of the woolly socks they've got on. But again, Aerox here, they are looking like they're going to take this trick trap domination. I thought that was a headshot, but no, it was a shot on quite well played from Aerox. 6 3, and now Fox Esports, they're looking like they don't have a, a prayer. For this, for this map now. Yeah, completely running away with it, as we kind of expected. We, we got excited in that first half, but we knew it was a little a little ill-advised, and uh, we didn't know how long that was going to last now as Aerox is really heated up. I would like to see a drastic change here for Fox Esports. And I think Instant in the middle is semi-drastic. That's drastic enough. I'm happy as a caster. I'm okay with that. Yeah, fantastic. Because yeah. you're winning the fight in the middle. Payne's got that kill early. Ryzen picked up the kill on baby steps. I think those instants are going to help them out. I like that decision, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Fox Esports is, is a whole... Uh, is just playing very individualistic. They're fighting their own individual fights. They're not working very well as a team right now, which is a big difference. Which is quite surprising to me, to be honest, to be honest John, because th this team has been a team for quite a long time. They've been five, six months, I believe. So you'd like to see them kind of bring something, uh, you know, in terms of their chemistry a little bit more. But again, Payne gets taken out. His first kill does go in Eric's favor, and so does the first, second and third. Eric's looking like they are in the assault. The fourth coming in. Root is in a bad position here. He's got no prayer in hell at the moment. He goes down, and that I believe is going to be that Aerox. They are going to take this map, uh, unless Fox Esports can put, pull a rabbit, rabbit out of a hat. 
No one's kept that D-Hill yet. No, one's, no, no one actually is even backtracking for that D-Hill. Someone off of Spawn's going to get it. So that's going to be an opportunity here for Fox Esports. They can stay alive again. You can't rely on that playoff for Spawn. You need to send someone there. But I guess they do have instants. So that's going to shut things down quite significantly over at the FPL. Mantis takes out one. Ryzen dead. All up to Mantis. He gets shut down as well. Brute is taken out. And that will be it for map number one. Aerox with five straight rounds, I believe. Yes, is going to come out on top. Seven to three here in this one. Well, uh, someone's going to have to look at the, uh, the stage there because they just turned on an on switch uh, that literally Fox could not deal with one bit. So well played from Aerox. They are going to take this map one. Uh, not as close as I expected it was going to be. Yeah, you saw on your screen Stat there. Line. Yeah, he was Little Ashens. Little Ashens. He, uh, he, he played very well. He took two, two, three, two, two or two, two, three pieces. Um, um, but yes, indeed, Aerox, great display. Uh, they really slayed out Fox Esports. Fox Esports, of course, they showed that you know they do have the slaying power when it matters. Mantis going off again <laughs> with that with that sniper. Uh, <laughs> on a show, that um, <laughs> but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough for Fox. Yeah, it, it didn't mean much in the end. It was exciting to watch, fun to see at the time. But again, I, you know, and I, I've been given a lot of hype. I think it's well deserved. I know. Uh, looking back at the chat yesterday, I had a chance to tune in for a little bit. He's getting a lot of fans, and that man is a little Ashens on your screen right now on the far left. Looks a little bit like Hydra. Drone, I think he's uh, trying, to, trying to take the look of Hydro. The poster boy of Gears of War <laughs> is Hydro, so we'll see if he can steal that spot. Big statement there, John. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, he, he, he's, he's been a great pickup. Um, obviously, not he's not been in this team so, so for, for, nope. for a long period of time. Obviously, they've still got about time to work on. Yeah, exactly. And uh, these guys, this team, are going to be looking at San Diego as their next, their next event, their next competition. So uh, they've got a bit of time to, to work some stuff out. This Liverpool, you know, this Liverpool event's a great opportunity to to have that land experience as a team. So I think um, it's important it's too, you know, for, for your psyche, for your confidence yeah. going into San Diego, because yeah. everyone knows the North American competition is so much more fierce, yeah. right? So if you come to this event and you can't even compete with the European scene, which isn't as developed as the North American scene, yeah. that's gonna that's gonna mess with your confidence. It's gonna demoralize you a little bit. So it's a little bit more important than I think people realize especially for a player like Ashens, who's going to be playing in his first major. If he makes it over to San Diego, it's really, really uh, an important event for him. Oh, and I think he's, he's building that confidence yeah, up. Yeah, 100%. I mean, he's, uh, you know, I, th I believe his first event, if I'm not mistaken, was actually, um, I believe it was Sheffield. Mm -hmm. um, I might be wrong in saying that, but, you know, that was his first ever event. Formerly on XCOM. Would he play with XCOM at that event as well? Um, he was formerly on XCOM. No, I believe it was Aerox he played with. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, the original so, like, The original, yeah. uh, the old Aerox. Yep. But, um, you know, he, he, he really brought it to that event. You know, he, you know obviously, when, whenever you go to your first LAN event, you're nervous, uh, you're shaky, yeah. your, your palms are sweaty, mum's spaghetti. Um, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know, it's he I really, he, 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 re <laughs> he really brought it to the event. So um, yeah. yeah, he's just gradually getting better and better, and yep. it's great to see. And, and, I, and, I, gonna be a and some experience. players just have it, and I don't know what it is. I can't define it. No one can define it. It's just an X factor, something in their veins that that uh, makes them who they are. And you could tell just in conversation with him, he's calm, he's confident, he's collected. I think he has that that X factor. I mean, we'll see. I, I've seen it so far on main stage. I've seen. And perform. I'm excited for the future of this player. Definitely a rising star in the Gears Pro circuit. I hope he can extend that past the European reach over to the North American side as well. It'd be great to see. Absolutely. I know he has a little bit of controversy. I know the XCON lads were not the happiest when he left, but you have to understand why. You're going to the number two, number three seed in Europe, uh, number, three. number three, which gets you a flight over to the yeah. U.S., which gets you an opportunity to put yourself on the map to compete for that two million dollar Pro Circuit prize pool. You can't blame him for the decision he made to play alongside the likes of Ash, of J Rage, of Sammy, former European champions themselves. It's a huge opportunity. He's taken the chance. He's taken the opportunity. He's running away with it. Big shot to Ashens and Insights. We've got to give love to him as well. A very similar player who just recently burst onto the scene as well. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, 100%. So, I mean, it's, you know, let's see what he can do on this map. Um, you know, I'd like to maybe jump on board with the little Ashens a little bit more, see what he's doing. Obviously, I think we, we, we missed the opportunity to kind of see those two, three pieces he's getting. But let's go into it. John? Watch out. Ashens leading the way to victory. They're giving him front spawn. They're feeling confident with this new rookie, this pickup. He's going to have his smoke out, playing that initial spawn. He's going to actually smoke out through the grates there. Nicely play smoke from him. He'll get some good shots early. His team support's going to come through now. Pressure on him. Actually, his team's going to go down. Ashens takes out one. Can he connect for the second? Ashens full red here. Ooh. He's going to get the second kill as well and goes for the third. A little bit weak, a little bit ill-advised, I think, but you had to give your hat off. A nice double kill to keep his team in this one. Yeah, it was great. It was great that we uh, started on him, but obviously, of course, Fox Esports, wow. they are going to get the trip cap. That's a, a very quick trip cap indeed. 37 seconds, so well played from them. Uh, little Ashens, unfortunately, even though he got that two-piece, it just was a not enough, John.
not enough. Yeah, and, uh, uh, interesting how fast Fox Esports was able to get to the uh, three cap. Usually, after winning the B Hill fight, it takes some time to get there. But they were so quick on the draw. I like the rotation from Fox Esports. Looking good here in the first round. And again, they started strong in the last map. It's about how you finish. It's not about how you start. Indeed, indeed. It, we just kind of got to that point where Fox Esports almost like they ran out of gas uh, in Dam. Uh, you know, they, they kind of got to a position where they weren't winning those fights anymore. But obviously, if this is anything to go by, then the future looks bright for this map. Let's. Step on board again with Little Ashens. He's looking very, very good so far this event. So it's going to be interesting to see what he's going to do in this goal. But you see, his, his, his teammates have got to back him up, right? You know, if he's getting those two pieces, if he's getting those three pieces, his teammates have got to back him up. So allow him to just kind of have that free roll and roam around and slay. Oh, and he has him so hurt in those greats. Not able to connect the kill. They ran for a different strat there. They opted for a Lancer strat, trying to beat the kills, allowing Incisive to make some plays over at Apple side. He's going to do exactly that now, Marco. Pushing with aggression, and the support's going to come through. It's Sammy on the rotation who plays that home hill spot. Incisive picks up that kill as well. J Rage putting some support in. Big fight over at the bowl, and it's going to be all Aerox that comes out on top in that fight. Brilliant, brilliant gameplay from Aerox. I love the bait. Let Fox Esports trap themselves in bowl, get some kills over towards Apples, rotate Sammy towards that high side, and trap the other team. Very well played by Aerox. And just to, just to mention as well that Sammy gave no no attention to the the the, uh, the fox player who was in barn so what a heads up play from him to recognize they're getting the b hill quickly let's just push on get the trip cap quickly and that you know that fox esports i believe it was ryzen uh he was in no man's land it was yeah. just pretty much impossible for him to do anything in that situation exactly and that's what separates some of the better 1v1 home hill players from the worst ones ribs i think redefined that meta he is not a home hill 1v1 player he is a nuisance flanking always have to worry about him what's he doing where's he at and that really kind of evolve the meta of that home hill spot. Players like Ribs, players like Kraz early on on the American, North American side, and of course on the European side, Crimson's an a Crim, an amazing player doing that as well uh, for Space Station. Yeah, history for you. I got the pleasure of watching Kraz at uh, the Gfinity London event last season. I was, uh, <laughs> I was massively impressed. So if Kraz is watching, uh, by any chance, shout out to you, man. <laughs> uh, and obviously Ribs, of course, as well. You, you know, you're right. The, the, these home hill players and these EU teams, especially if you're an up-and-coming EU team, they, they need someone to look for. And people like Ribs, people like Kraz are the people to be looking at. And Kraz at that London event was loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very loud. It was, it was absolutely brilliant. Third place finish at that one. The Legion's really showing up. I missed that old Legion's nice. roster with Yogurt. With Kraz, with European Co. A nice shot, though. Look at the team firing. A sniper shot. Going to pick up that kill. Looks like it was a long shot placed again. These Italians love their sniper. And uh, this time it's going to be Aerox that gets it in their hands. Now they're going to be rotating towards B-side. Who is it? None other than Ashen's leading the way. He's going to get tagged up here, though. Very, very hurt. And he's going to opt for a support role instead. Yeah, great, great, great team fire by his teammates, sir, to ensure that he didn't go down there. So brilliant work from them so far. He's got the hammer burst. That's a spray of bullets there. Uh, Ryzen was in no man's land and ended up in a cage full of bullets. So well played. And now Aerox are just going to move forward into this B-Hill. But Little Ashens, unfortunately, does go down. Brute takes him out. This is a big 1v. Marco, he's opted to reload here. I don't know whether that's a misplay, but it doesn't matter anyway because Brute's there just to sort him out. And that's four dead momentarily. Five... Uh, Five before that, so now Aero, uh, Fox Esports do have a great opportunity here to try and move the, for the trip count. Little Lancer play though from Incisive. Yeah, well played right there from him. Mantis holding that right hand. Needs to get that kill. Not going to be able to do so. The Seahill's going to be broken. That's a five on four now for Aerox. Can they get the second kill? Not yet. Finally, it's going to be Incisive that picks it up. Incisive gets the triple. Ashens, who's becoming quite the duo to Incisive, gets the other one. And now. The table has turned as Aerox is pushing for the three cap opportunity. Four dead. Now it's only three dead. Four Foxes. They'll be respawning here momentarily. Yeah, indeed. And now Fox Esports are going to be kicking themselves because they had such a great opportunity there to, to, to get the trip cap. But unfortunately, just couldn't clinch it out when it matters. Aerox are going to take that round. Just look how quickly it can just turn tables in, the, in this fantastic game that we're playing here. Yeah, well done by Aerox right there. Led by Incisive. And look at this Aerox squad. They're chilling. Another day in the office for them. J Rage, who plays about seven kilometers away from his monitor, <laughs> always has. He like sits, sits. I don't know how he sees. This guy has laser vision. I don't know what it is, but uh, <laughs> thirty thirty vision, not 30, twenty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Found a way. He's a, he is cyborg uh, essentially. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah. I guess, so it was always been. Uh, I think the first event I ever went to, I saw um, J Rage was sitting about. 15 miles away from yep. the TV screen. I was just thinking, what? Uh, just an update for you there. Uh, update from the loser bracket round three. Regal Reserve, they do take XCON Esports in map one. So 1-0 one to Regal Reserve if you are looking, uh, if you're a Regal Reserve fan or an XCON fan. So I, I expected that though, John, to be honest. Um, Regal Reserve look, looking very strong. They look very strong against Space Station, of course, taking them to a 7-6 on uh, Foundation in that last matchup. So yeah, good play. 
an interesting strat right here. So Fox Esports put that sniper down, and despite prioritizing that sniper, didn't send anyone to fight for the sniper. They opted instead for like an Apple's B Hill strat. We'll see if it pays off. We'll see if that sniper ends up coming to bite them as J Rage and Co are pushing out towards that B Hill. On board of Sammy up top. Sammy gonna get tagged up, have to back out and reset here. It is Ash, though, with the sniper in his hand. It's up on board of him. He actually dies as soon as I say that. <laughs> <laughs> curse of the caster, John. Curse of the caster. Uh, but no, yeah, of course, I think that Fox Esports are doing a great job in just making sure this B-Hill is, is on lockdown, as it were, and Aerox are going to have to do, pull something out of the bag. And as I say, like J-Rage, he does get a kill on Brutes, and now this is maybe a good opportunity to push up and maybe go for the flanks. You see this so often. And you know, they try and kind of pinch the two members up there on Fox Esports. But again, Fox Esports, look at the damage he was taking there, Jay Rage, when he was trying to go up. So uh, this is going to be a good engagement, in my opinion. Yep, here comes the fight. Marco getting some shots in. Sammy and Jay Rage, the long-time duo. It's going to be Rage that comes oh. down on top with the double. And he finally gets down, taken out. The revive's going to come through. A little, bat, a little bait action coming in from Ash. He's going to force Mantis to retreat. Well played from Aerox. They're down by 35 points, though. So the they're going to have to play a little bit aggressive here to come back on top in this one, but we've seen them do it many times before. Mantis going to get away there. Yeah, they can't. They can't. Fox Esports, they need to take those opportunities. They can't allow J Rage to go off like that and get the two kills in those, in, in those key scenarios. Uh, that's going to be the difference, in my opinion. It was definitely the difference in Dam. You know, Fox Esports, they did have some good opportunities to try and get some, some good positioning on the map, but they just unfortunately could not capitalize again. Look, two members of. Fox Esports, they do go down, and now Rising and Pains are trying to ensure that Lashings doesn't kind of go on the flank, and I, I don't really get this decision from the Fox Esports. Yeah, he is going to rotate back. Good decision from him. Um, but as you say that, though, he tries to go for the kill instead of going for the, uh, for, for the hill, and Aerox, they are going to take this 3-1. Maybe a questionable decision there from the Fox Esports guy. Yeah, they kind of looked all over the place, yeah. a little bit scattered, and that's the difference here from, uh, I think, the Italian scene, which has less, less of course, less competition, less development over there, less opportunity, so you can't blame them. But the initial strategy was non-existent. I'm not sure, I, I wasn't a big fan of what I saw there. They placed the sniper, didn't even play for it. Now they have an M-Bar up top, we'll see what they do. And then of course their mid-round decisions, where they go off of spawn, a little bit questionable as well. So teamwork strategy is definitely an opportunity for these Italians. They're all very talented individually, great Nashers on the Italian side. We want to see them work a little bit more as a team. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. But obviously, you know, it's only early days. It's only 3-1 to Aerox. They still have time to, to, to get this back in the favor of themselves. And again, this bull fight is going to be prominent. I don't, didn't have a chance to see what put, was put down there in that B, in that B Hills. And I think it's going to be something a little bit more to play for. Little Ashens there with a the fantastic peekaboo over the cover. He does take down the Foxy Sports over there. And again, he's going. He's cleaning up Brutes as well. And now Marco goes down. Rising, though, does trade off. So maybe it's not going to be as pressurized in the minute as I say that. Rising goes down straight away, John. This is going to be look, this is going to look from uh, an assault from Aerox, rather. Full red is Mantis as well. He's going to get tagged up and down. And this Aerox squad is looking strong here, of course, against a, a slightly lesser tiered Fox Esports team. But man, I'm going to get ahead of myself. This sets us up, though, for a very nice Regal Reserve versus Aerox in the rematch. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I think if. <laughs> If I'm a betting man, that is going to be an absolute cracker of a yep. match. Uh, two teams who really have all to play for. It's backs against the wall for, for them both. You know, loser bracket, whoever loses goes home. And I feel like Aerox, the way they're looking, the, the aggression they're showing, the, the, you know, the slaying ability they're showing. And obviously we know Regal Reserve, they can show, they can, they can, they can bang with the best, as it were. So <laughs> we saw it just now. We saw it just now. So I feel like that's going to be an absolute cracker. So, um, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> See a little chirping back and forth here from Incisive <laughs> as finally they decide to exchange some words back and forth with the Italians who, by the way, they, they may not get the first place award this tournament, but they get the most hype award oh, brilliant. from Fallout. I, I will tell you, man, they've been, they've been hyped, they've been loud all tournament long. I, I don't know, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I should have done my research here, but who is the guy with the white hat? Because he is literally all the time over the monitors. Rising. Rising. That's Rising. Rising. I, exactly. I he gets the, the most hype individual. <laughs> they all get the most hype team, for sure. <laughs> he needs to be a, a, mo a, a motivational speaker or something yeah. he is or a motivational screamer <laughs> as is maybe for the american football world <laughs> exactly yeah, hey, let, we can use that help from uh, the european side <laughs> we're not as loud as you as, uh, as you folks are during matches over here it's a shame well, I, 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 I have, well yeah from what i've seen uh, the europeans do definitely give it to each other you see <laughs> the likes of uh, you know you see the likes of jack reaction and ash match up if you've ever had a, the pleasure of watching a game between jack reaction and epsilon ash oh my it literally God. goes off honestly hilarious that's, absolutely that's why you love gears Esports, right? Exactly. It's such a diverse community. It's such a vocal game, an animated crowd, and uh, 
it's really unlike any other esport. Really, every other esport has kind of a similar demographic that plays it, that watches it, but Gears is really good at the mixed bag. And it's beautiful scores and days, definitely. But now we're seeing Fox Esports, they are in a bit of a dodgy position here. Uh, Brute and Marco both go down. Look, the jelly legs again there, John. Yeah, that was called the jelly legs. <laughs> That's the jelly legs, okay. It's the jelly legs or dance moves like Michael Jackson. Either one, whichever one you want to put. You know, I prefer the jelly legs. Okay. I'm going to stick with that. Is that okay? Can I steal it? I'll give you some credit over in North America when I, when I drop that one. Fantastic. Well, give it him the jelly legs. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's back on. Let's hold on for this back. Let's back. Uh, but no, again, Rob Fox, they are looking at the bad, bad position. Here's Sammy KLT, he gets the double. Brilliant play by him. Taking out Mantis and Ryzen, and now look again, Aerox are on the assault, and Fox Esports looking like they don't have an answer here again. Two goes down, and Lashin's getting a two-piece for himself. But Aerox looking in uh, the driver's seat here, John, as it were. Indeed, they're having fun now at this point. This Aerox squad is really just trying to catch as much fire as possible. They're going to need it against Regal Reserve, who is looking phenomenal. And really, the difference is they're having their way in the 1v1s individually, and they're, they're out teamworking this Fox Esports squad. But Regal Reserve is going to be a lot more difficult to pull that off. They're a very good individual team. Shadows, Dragons, Strikers, three players that stand out to me on that squad. But they also have some strong teamwork, some good wolf packing ability. It's going to be a good one. Of course, Aerox did get the best of Regal in the last matchup, 2-1 in the maps. So we'll see what happens in this next matchup here. And then not to get ahead of ourselves, but it's looking at the writing from the wall. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. Um, I mean, I, I actually had the pleasure of watching that Aerox and Regal Reserve game, and it was very, very hyped. Obviously, we know that the Spanish players, they love, they love to talk trash over the monitors in their own language, and English <laughs> as well. But you know, no one can really understand what's going on, but it, it sounds it sounds good. So let's crack a ball. This is a bit of a scrap here in this top barn. Epson actually comes out on top against Marco. Sammy Kelty getting a kill for himself, and now Pains is just in the world. Full of pain, he goes down. And now look, Aerox, they are just being very aggressive. They're going to go for the trip cap here, John, and it's all up to Brute. As I say that, he gets his head cleaned off. And Aerox, 6-1, Fox Esports. They're gonna need to. Uh, gonna say it again. They're gonna need to pull a rabbit out of a hat to, to turn this one turn this one around. Mm, it's looking good. You see on your screen right now, Epsilon Ash, aka Aerox Ash, the captain of this team, the assembler of this team. He does it often, and uh, you know he's a former coach of Space Station, former player on Space Station. It's good to see him back, returned and competing in Gears of War 4. Big shout out to Ash. And now, will we see a boom shot? Yes, we will. Desperation at hand here for Fox Esports. They need something. They need a miracle to bring themselves back into this. They do indeed. And, you know, we just saw then that barn fight was very, very scrappy. And, uh, you know, obviously Aerox, they came out on top on that one. So I, I question the decision from Fox Esports to put a boom in that, in, in that location. Maybe put it up top. Uh, they won. They did win the up top fight uh, a couple of rounds in the first, the first rotation of rings. But they obviously got a thought process. So let's step on board with Incisive. He's going straight in, almost running head first. He does get taken out. But look, the kills are going in. Eric's to spade. The Jero is getting another two piece pains. He just looks like he can't hit a shot. And look, oh my God, he's a shot out of his bum there. But doesn't matter either way. Little Ashens, he takes him down. And now uh, with one boom in hand, with. Four players up, you, you expect this is going to be Eric's route map, and, and so we go. Yeah, we're going to have to hold off that D-Hill for quite some time. It's going to help when Ash starts like that. Can Ash get the double? Yes, he does. Boomshot's going to come in, take out Ash. That's a worthy team kill. And just like that, Aerox advances 7-3, 7-1. A dominating performance from Aerox as they will move on to play against, most likely, Regal Reserve in a rematch for the ages. I'm excited for that one. That is for sure. But I got to say, Darko, it was a pleasure casting that one with you. It was a lot of fun. We had a good time with it. Of course, not the closest match, so we, uh, we, we compensated with some fun. Yeah, I, just, it's always fun. I just one day, John, if we ever get the, the opportunity to cast another game, I just want to scream with you. Uh, you know, <laughs> we can just scream over a match. You know, it would, just be, it would be absolutely fantastic. I've seen your hype, man, when you were casting the NA games. It's fantastic. It's, it's a pleasure, man. Thank you Absolutely much. right back at you, man. It was an honor and a pleasure. It's good to be back with my man Fru, speaking of pleasures. <laughs> good to see you back, man. <laughs> yeah, we're back indeed. And, and strong showing from Aerox there. Really, really dominant second map for sure. Fox starting off real strong. I mean, it, they were looking good to start with, but yeah, the... Um, the, the the second the second map there, Aerox really showing their dominance. <laughs> um, yeah, so so Aerox going to progress on. They're going to progress on to await the winner of Regal and XCon. I, you know, Regal obviously one they were one map up. Um, you you get the update later on. 
what are we looking for there? I mean, that is going to be a, a, a slugfest if I ever saw one. It's, it, uh, it's going to be a crazy match. Uh, I'm expecting it to be a crazy match. I hope, I, I hope, please, Lord, the Gears of War gods, it delivers. <laughs> um, but I, I'm sure these two teams, it is 100% it's, it's, it's set up for that way. What, yeah. yeah, definitely so. And, and commiserations to Fox as well. They're, they're going to drop out in fifth to sixth place, so slightly below their seeds. But given the competition, I, I don't think that's a bad placement whatsoever. And I'm sure they'll be back stronger. Uh, you know, with with more to come, there'll be more to see from that roster. Uh, yeah, really, Com really nice show. And completely good agree. And I know I, I've heard. And if you're watching Raptor, if you're watching Italy, I hope you come back. I want to see Brute Raptor and the and the whole crew over in Italy come back and return to the game. They are arguably the number one team in Italy, facing off against the number two team. It would help promote competition. Italy would help promote competition in Europe, but uh, definitely not the last. We'll see Fox Esports, that's for sure. No, definitely not. And, and a couple of members of Aerox as well going off there incisive with a, a fantastic triple kill uh, early on and just, just setting the precedent there. I think that's the kind of tempo they're going to need to bring to this, this Regal squad. You know, we're assuming that Regal are going to take this next map. They were ahead the last I saw. Uh, yeah, do you think they match up well? Because we saw a super yeah. on fire a Regal team, right? We did. It, it, was, it was difficult to to really judge between him and Devon Space Station. It was, it really was. And, and that's the thing that's interesting is sometimes in Gears of War you see these interesting matchups where, where it's almost like a rock, paper, scissors scenario. One team matches up well against another, which matches up well against another, which matches poorly against the other. So I, I think it's a... It, it, it depends what Aerox we see. They're the most hot and cold team I've seen at this, at this tournament. They did not show up against Space Station. They did not put up even a remote fight against Space Station. But Regal Reserve did two times now. So on paper, Regal Reserve should be able to best Aerox in this match. However, history sets. Aerox beat Regal Reserve in this event already one time before in pool play. I do know Ash got knocked out by the Spanish in Sheffield, I believe. He hasn't beaten the Spanish in a long time on European soil, so it felt good to get that first win against Regal. This is the one that matters. Loser's bracket, your back is against the wall. What Aerox will we see is the key storyline coming into this one. Yeah, I, I totally agree. You know, it's, it, with, with Regal, just to pick up your point about them being so hot and cold, it's almost, it feels like a toying cost, doesn't it? You know, you get heads, they're really good. You get tails, they're, they're crap. You know, it's, it's, it's the same, but... Yeah, it's, it's going to be a fantastic matchup. Aerox, they're going to be really confident off that. You know, Fox Esports, they gave XCon a really great, you know, a really good game, which we saw in that first one, which we had the pleasure of casting with yourself through. And they're going to be really confident off that. They, they completely demolished them in that Reclaim map. You know, there was no, there was no, it almost seemed there was no life from Fox. So uh, I feel like after that, it's, they're going to take that and they're really going to give it to, to Regal Reserve and I don't know whether or not they're going to be able to handle them in those key situations. Well, we'll, we'll see that soon. On, on the other side of things though, I want to talk about the winner's bracket for, yeah. uh, for a while because we've got a very exciting match <laughs> coming up. It, it's going to be obviously Space Station Gaming who we saw, you know, dominant, uh, close against Regal but dominant nonetheless against that real on fire Lucent. I mean, how do they match up? Uh, I mean... That is, that's the question, isn't it? You know, we, we've, we've had these conversations before. I've sat here before and said, you know, with the odd supremacy matchup between Space Station, I really hope it's a great, great game, but it never turns out to be. Um, I know Jack. I know what he's like as a competitor. I know he's the, one of the most competitive people I've ever met, um, 100%. I know he's going to be trying everything in his power to ensure that is a fantastic matchup. So if Lucent bring the fire to Space Station, that also could be an absolute cracker of a game. I know it's been a long time since we remember Jack as the undisputed best player in Europe, but we all, the three of us at least, remember yeah. those days. Gears 1 through Gears 3, early days of Gears 3 especially, Jack was undoubtedly the number one player, bar none, by a mile, best player in Europe. If anyone can do it, it's that man to return to his throne against the space station squad who's really dominated the scene for a while and I, you know I, I'm not saying he's going to do it it's a pretty far-fetched uh, prediction to make but if anyone can do it I think it can be reaction either way I hope he puts up a good fight like you said I agree one of the most competitive people I know uh, yeah just the point you know if, if, if it does happen and Lucent Esports can, can can best this space station GG team obviously they do have an advantage in the side as well with the, the recent roster swap of, of Jack SSGG coming into the team but it would remind me of, uh, of E United Optic uh, situation. Do you remember when Op uh, yep. E United beat yes. Optic in that in that winners bracket final? And I just remember seeing demos face as a famous picture, isn't it? Like <laughs> famous picture. <laughs> yeah. We get that. We gotta get that frame. We gotta can get we, that. Can up we get the graphic of demos face now? Yeah. Uh, but no, you know, it, it would li really remind me of that. And I know for a fact if oh, if, if Lucent can beat Space Station GG, it won't be demo on that picture. It'll be Jack reaction. I love it. Yeah, yeah. on the floor. <laughs> That's the story itself. Now it has to happen. The drama <laughs> has been set, people. So let's go into yeah, that. Yeah, you you ask the universe. Universe, the universe shall <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it happens. It'd be a great matchup. Either way, I'm, I'm excited for the winners' bracket final. Definitely, and this this Lucent roster as well. While while we're discussing them, 
best variant of Lucent we've seen so far? You know, when I was casting you, I said, remind me to bring up this topic during the post-game analysis. And that's exactly what I wanted to speak of. This tournament has made me realize, and I'm going to make some, some bold statements here, but this tournament has made me realize that there is so much talent in Europe that is untapped and perhaps has not reached their potential yet. And by that, I mean the likes of Shadows. I mean the likes of Dragons. Some phenomenal players. Ashens, we've seen doing ama some amazing things. Incisive. There's an opportunity for, I, I think, a second God Squad in Europe. It's there, somewhere. Somewhere Marsh is looking and looming and watching. I hope he returns to the fray. I, I hope someone can, can stick it to the SSG, make things interesting in Europe. I, I'm not sure if this Lucent eSport, and Baghdad, talk about uh, uh, one of the most historic players in Europe as well. Baghdad's at home watching right now. He's not playing. He's assembling a roster too, I've heard. So there's, uh, there's opportunity. It just needs to be the right five. Uh, and and that, those right five can be in contention for another great international team, not only in Europe, but also in North America. I'm not sure if this Lucent squad is the best. Yes. All right. I, Second best. I, I, I just want to say my opinion of it, I it completely agree with you. I do think that there is, you know, if you look in the, you know, the, the last drawer of the wardrobe, there is, uh, you know, a potential to be. The, the underwear? What is, yeah. What's that? Yeah, where the underwear? <laughs> under the underwear. You know, oh, you hide, like, you know, we uh, had your money. <laughs> yeah, hide your money, yeah. The gold there, there, there millions is, of dollars. There is, there is that potential to have a second God Squad in Europe, and I, yeah. I'd love to see it. But uh, with this Lucent side, just to look at it from an analytical perspective, they complement each other so well. Mm -hmm. um, they obviously have a fantastic English game leader in Jack Reaction, um, you know, the Physics Zorkos, you know, duo, they really complement each other. And then the Fractures and Cougars duo, they really complement complement each other. But it's almost like those those kind of um, those two those two duos, they come together and complement yeah. each other. And then Jack Reaction is just kind of like a puppet master. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're just, uh, just you're getting them to go where it's General you know, the yeah, Army. Exactly. Yeah. So that, yeah, that's that, my opinion of from what I've seen of Lucent so far, they do really work well as a team. Uh, it's not perfect yet by no means. They still have a lot of time to San Diego they still have a lot of time to work on stuff and mm -hmm. uh, to scrim and, and work out little bits and pieces from the from a strategy perspective but yeah I, I really think this is this does have the potential to be another fantastic EU squad yeah I think so and, and you, I think you nailed it those, those two duos we, we do see them on the map as well playing as those two duos the, yeah. the Spanish uh, you know with the Spanish fighting that you know little 2v2 Jack is usually kind of in the middle and then the French at the other side so it, it, it is it's kind of a three pronged attack that's funny isn't it yeah. across all of that's Europe interesting the two French two Spanish and an Englishman yeah, yeah. <laughs> holding everything down <laughs> the multicultural Winston Churchill team. If you <laughs> the multicultural <laughs> team yeah. of the year no, it's good to see uh, I have had word in my ear uh, Regal have gone through so okay. they, they beat expected. XCON 2-0 uh, so we are going to see that, that Regal reserve um, match up essentially against their Ox which is, is going to be a good one coming up um I'm excited for that one. For yeah, hundred percent. But is that? I'm, I'm not sure if the schedule's been laid out. Is that next on main stage? I believe. Um, I'm not sure. We, okay. I think it is. Yeah, I think that's oh. going to be the next oh. game we're going to be seeing on main stage. Yeah. So I think you guys get to you get to cast with Toby. Or you, so you're casting with Toby. Either way, I'm Elliot jealous. Elliot I'm jealous. That's a great match to cast. Don't I'll worry. I'll try and get my one-liners <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> the metaphors, <laughs> the metaphors. And analogies have been on point with this man. <laughs> all types. We're talking about drawers. We're talking about tigers in the desert. All sorts of craziness. That's why we bring him. That's why we bring him. That's the only reason. That's the only reason because the rest of it is rough. So we like, gotta oh. get you to the states, my <laughs> we, we gotta get both the guys to the states. It's been a pleasure <laughs> casting alongside you. It's been, been nice fun trip for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that said, uh, let's, let's reel this in. Let's take this to a quick break. We are gonna see Aerox against the Regal Reserve coming up very, very shortly. Please stay tuned. We'll be back soon.